Okay, uh, good morning, Professor Debeda de los Reyes. Okay, uh, my topic for this morning will be lesson number 10. Uh, we are on the long form video format, College Algebra. Okay, uh, this should be lesson number 10. Okay, let's proceed. Uh, lesson number 10, College Algebra. Lesson number 10 will now be the summary of uh, real numbers. So it involves the fundamental operations, okay, the order of operation by using PEMDAS, what you call this, uh, and the properties of uh, real numbers. Okay, uh, so this will now be the summary of example problem before proceeding with the next topic on college algebra. The next topic is actually solution of linear equations. Uh, we now know the fundamental operations, so actually we could proceed with the solution of linear equations. Okay, uh, let's proceed for uh, this morning. Lesson number 10, this, so this will now be the summary of problems and the real numbers. Okay, uh, example number one, uh, evaluate, uh, we are given a, a, an expression over here, 6 multiplied by the square root of 4 minus 3 times the square root of 16, okay, minus 2 multiplied by 5 plus the product 7 multiplied by, oh, we got a quantity here because uh, the sign of the term here is negative. So he want to emphasize, the problem he want to emphasize that the sign of the number here is negative. So 7 multiplied by 3 minus 10 and what will be equal to? Solution. Uh, the given expression is actually expressed as a fraction, so whether we will violate uh, PEMDAS or not, okay, for the meantime we forget PEMDAS, right? So we proceed first with the numerator. We perform first the numerator, then we go with the denominator, okay? For the numerator, we shall perform first the operations and the numerator, okay? So for the numerator, I will designate that as n. Okay, I will copy this one. So this will be 6 times the square root of 4 minus 3 times the square root of 16. I prepare the next one. Okay, I prepare the next one. Why? Uh, this that here repairs multiplication, right? But for it to be more clearer, I use the quantity to indicate the operation multiplication. Okay, uh, I prefer that one than by a dot because uh, like a 2.5, uh, this is very strange, right? Uh, will it be a number, a decimal number or you are performing the operation multiplication? Okay, so you can see that this one, you are not performing an operation multiplication because it's a number 2.5, right? But if I will place this one under a quantity, I am sure that I am operating under the operation multiplication. So I prepare the next one here. So instead of using the dot, I place it here. It is 6 multiplied by the quantity square root of 4 minus 3 times Again, I place it under quantity because uh, they are to be multiplied times the square root of 16. Uh, we can now proceed with the operation. Okay. It's only subtraction. No, no. Uh, we do first the multiplication because under PEMDAS, the multiplication is heard, is ahead. Okay. Before the subtraction or addition. Yeah, it's ahead, right? So this will be 6. Uh, the square root of 4, 
For the meantime, we are only considering real roots. So, I will just only place plus 2 here. Minus 3. The square root of 16. Real roots only. We forget the re imaginary part. This is multiplied by 4. So, the multiplication is ahead before the subtraction. So, this will be 6 times 2, which is 12. Minus 3 times 4 which is 12. So 12 minus 12, the multiplication is ahead, right? So the next operation will be subtraction. <laughs> uh, we are bound by that PEMDAS thing, you know. So 12 minus 12 is actually 0. So we got no more problem with the numerator, okay? Denominator next. For the denominator, uh, this is the one I am telling you. <laughs> is it a number uh, 2.5 with the negative sign or you are multiplying minus 2 times uh, 5? But the problem indicates that uh, we should be multiplying because uh, where I got the, what you call this uh, concept of this one, if it's a dot, it's multiplication, right? So this will be minus 2 times 5 plus 7 times minus 3 minus 10. Again, I will change the operation. I will place the quantity instead of the dot for it to be more uh, secure or uh, very assured thing that the operation is multiplication. So this will become minus 2 times 5. So the meaning of this negative 2, the sign of the, the first number is a negative, so it will be under one quantity, negative 2 times 5. The next one, this is 7, times negative 3, minus 10. Simplifying it, it will be minus 10, minus 2 times 5 is negative 10, this is minus 21, 7 minus 3, minus 10. Taking the summation of this, it should be negative 41. Meaning the simplification of this is actually negative 41. And the simplification of the numerator, it is actually 0. So if we are asked to evaluate the simplified value of this one, it should be the computed value of the numerator. Okay, divided by the computed value of the denominator. Therefore, the given uh, expression now will be equal to the numerator over denominator. Okay, so it should be 0 over negative 41. Okay, but a 0 over a negative number will be 0. So that's our answer. Uh, we, we use this concept here. Uh, 0 over a number whether plus or minus it should be zero okay example number two evaluate a uh, negative two thirds times negative 15 uh, i like this one uh, it gives the operation to be multiplication and he place it under the quantity i like this one Plus open quantity 2 to the 4th power minus 8 divided by 4 close quantity equal to what will be the value? See? Uh, we use the code PEMDAS because under the topics, under the real roots for the order of, of operation, since we are here in the USA, we use PEMDAS. But uh, in the UK, they use both mass, but uh, the result is still the same. Okay, uh, we stick to the USA solution. Uh, we start with the letter P. Uh, are there any parentheses thing in the given expression? There is. This is the parentheses or quantity. Parentheses or quantity, right? So we will write the terms under the quantity. Okay. Then try to perform the operation inside. Uh, the first uh, operation to be done is the exponent. 
because obviously the one inside no more parentheses right so what's next will be exponent it, it's it is so we, we perform this one first so this will be 16 minus 8 divided by 4 plus quantity then try to simplify again the terms inside but uh, we, we must have to use the correct order of operation right so what's next will the subtraction ahead or the division first i think uh, the division will be ahead okay because under pindas division is ahead with respect to subtraction right so we we do first the division inside okay we do first the division so meaning to say we we try to simplify this one first 8 divided by 4 will be equal to 2. Division will be ahead, right? Division is ahead with the subtraction. Okay, so after uh, dividing this one, the one inside will be 16 minus the computed value of this one. This was ahead, right? So this is minus 2 close quantity. And the value of the, of the P uh, operation will be 14. Meaning if we try to operate the given expression starting with the parentheses or quantity or open or close quantity the value is 14 what's next okay i will try to erase this one considering the total expression we are done with the letter p right so, meaning to say the simplified equivalent of this is actually 14, right? So, what's next? Uh, is, is there a, what you call this, an exponent, exponents that remains inside the expression? Nothing. Because what remains is actually this one here plus uh, 14, right? So, there's no exponent, none. Are there operations to be performed under the operation multiplication in the given one, the resulting exponent? Because what remains is this one plus this, plus the computed value of this. And in here, obviously, there is an operation multiplication. So under the operation multiplication, I place it here, negative two-thirds times negative 15. That's the next order of operation to be done by using PIMDAS. And what comes out will be a negative two times a my negative 15 will be plus 30 over 3. A plus 30 over 3 will be a plus 10. So meaning to say the simplified equivalent of this is uh, plus 10. Right? So we are done. No exponent. There is a multiplication. What's next? Division. Is there a division? None. Okay, because what remains is uh, just 10 and 14 and no division involved anymore. So I place it here, it's none. Okay, what's next? Uh, we'll go with A, addition. For the addition, what remains is actually a plus 10 and plus 14. Because uh, we operated this one under the parenthesis and we operated this one under the multiplication. So what remains... Okay, for the operation addition is uh, the simplified equivalent of this plus the simplified equivalent of this. Right? So this is plus 10 plus 14. Okay? Uh, we are now adding uh, two terms, uh, two real numbers. So they are both positive. So this sum will be plus 24 or just simply 24. So this is our final answer. Uh, that's it, how we use PIMDAS in the so-called order of operation under the summary of real numbers. Okay, uh, the last example for tonight, or for this morning. Simplify, the given expression is minus 3 times the quantity 2k minus 4 plus quantity plus 4 multiplied by the quantity 3k minus 5 plus quantity plus 4k. Uh, we are asked to simplify this one. Uh, I think uh, this example now illustrates the so-called uh, uh, distributive law under the properties of real numbers. 
So actually, lesson number 10 is the summary of the operations and the real numbers. Okay, uh, we try to distribute, right? So distribute, so we are now using the distributive law. Right? Oh, we must have to distribute this one to simplify, right? So minus 3 times 2k will be minus 6k. Minus 3 times minus 4 will be plus 12. 4 times 3k will be 2k. 4 times minus 5 will be minus 20 plus 4k. Then try to perform uh, what uh, property of this one and the real numbers. We change the grouping, right? Change the grouping. So we change the grouping, so this should be the associated law under addition, right? So it's just like uh, we combine all similar terms under quantity. We combine, we group it, okay? So that's a property of real numbers. So minus 6k plus 12k plus 4k under one quantity, under one group, okay? Plus, open quantity, this is 12, minus 20, plus quantity. Then, after that, uh, we could do this one with the common factor is k, times the quantity, what remains will be minus 6, plus 12, plus 4, plus quantity, plus, uh, we can operate this one now. Uh, we are subtracting uh, two real numbers. They are both positive, right? A positive 12 minus a positive 20 will be negative 8. Right? That's uh, addition of similar terms and the real numbers. Right? Then the one inside, uh, we can open it now. Uh, we are adding two real numbers and subtracting another one. So 12 plus 4 will be 16 minus 6. That will be 10. This is minus 8. So the final simplification of this will be 10 times k will be 10k minus 8 minus 8. That will be our final answer. So uh, as you can see it guys, uh, all our examples are actually a summary of the real number operations. It's on the fundamental operations, order of operations, and the properties of the so-called real numbers. The next time around will be linear equations as how to solve a linear equations. Okay, uh, that's it for tonight guys. Uh, good morning from Los Angeles. This is uh, Professor David J. De Los Reyes. If you want to subscribe to my channel, my channel is at youtube.com slash at proof David J. De Los Reyes. If you want to share it, please click share. Uh, good morning from Los Angeles. This is a long video format under Khalil Saljibra, lesson number 10. Good morning from Los Angeles.